G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now the SharePoint Quick Links web part is a very versatile web part that we're gonna take a look at today. I'm often asked the question, how can we create a dashboard? How can we better represent or present our links and drive a better user experience on our SharePoint pages to certain uh, areas, not just within SharePoint and your intranet, but also to external or any other source of information that does have a URL. We're gonna dive into the Quick Links web part now and pick it apart so that you can use this web part across your SharePoint pages. Let's go and dive in. You can see I'm just on a communication site here. It doesn't matter if you're on a comm site or a SharePoint team site. Quick Links web parts work the same across both. So the first thing we're gonna do is add the Quick Links web part. So I'm gonna pop this page into edit mode uh, and I'm just gonna jump down. I'll add a new section in here. I'll just use a one column section. We'll sit this just underneath the hero web part. Then we are going to add the actual Quick Links web part. Now you can see here, frequently used, I've got the Quick Links web part. We could just type in Quick Links in the search as well, and that will give us and bring back that web part. You can see that we've got that now added. Now you'll see that we've got this little, um, this little toolbar here, and one of the things that we can do is choose different layout options. Now we can see by default we're given the compact layout, but we've got film strip, grid, button, list, and tiles as well. So let's just have a quick look at each of these. So you can see the compact is a smaller little icon on the left hand side. We've got a film strip which then um, makes these into a more card type of display and also uh, it, depending on how many links we've got will then make these scrollable as well. We've got a grid format, again, nice big tiles. We've got a button format, which is a little bit different. Again, a little bit smaller. We can choose to have borders and icons and that type of thing as well. We've then got a list, again, a little bit smaller, icon, title, and link. And then we've got our tiles, which is more of a, uh, a, a square, a little bit smaller than the grid, a little bit of a different display. Let's actually go ahead now and add some links and then we'll change the different layout options and we'll see how they are represented as well. All right, so the first uh, layout that we're going to use is I'm going to flick this over into button. So what we're gonna do is create a little dashboard here in the button layout, all right? So let's go and add a link. Uh, now I'm just going to point these to the same page. Um, it doesn't really matter. They can point to anything that, um, you know, anything that you want to point them to as long as they've got a, a, a URL. So on the right hand side here, you can see that we've got the properties of this particular link. So I'm just going to give this a title uh, and then we're going to use the description down here as well. All right, so we'll use the description. Now you can see here to show descriptions on your page, go to your layout options and turn on the show descriptions. So that is in the properties of the actual Quick Links web part. So before we do this, what I am going to do is jump into the edit web part section and here we can turn on show descriptions. So remembering that this is the properties of the entire web part, not just this individual link. So in the layout options under the button, we do have the option here to show descriptions and here are the settings for this particular layout. So we've got icons on the left, we've got no icon, or we can choose to have the icon on the top. I'm going to choose icon on the left. We can have a look here at the button appearance as well. So we've got the option to have no outline. You can see that the border gets removed. We've got outline or we've got the option here for our fill color. Now we don't have a lot of flexibility over the fill color. It does take on the, the color of the theme of the site. Now I'm just going to choose no outline because what we're gonna do in a second is change the background color of this section and we'll have a look and see what that looks like as well. The alignment, we can have center or top. The title text, we can have one line or two lines. Uh, it's up to you. And also we can have our audience targeting as well. 
All right, so that's at the layout options of the, for the button. Now, I'm just going to pop back into this individual link here. Now we are talking about this particular button. We can choose to open this in a new tab if we want to. We've got the title, we've got the thumbnail, which is represented here at the moment by, because we pointed to a SharePoint page, we automatically get the SharePoint uh, logo here or the SharePoint page icon. Now we can have a custom image or we can choose from a library of icons. So I'm just going to choose and use uh, the icons here. And you can see that we're presented with the stock uh, icon list here from Microsoft. So I'm just going to choose this icon here and you can see that that has now been changed on the left hand side and we could change the, um, you know, obviously update that or we could have our, our own custom images if we've got uh, all of our custom images already created for us. So there's a single link. What we might do now is quickly just go through and let's just add a couple more links. Now I'm just going to also again, point to uh, the same page just for ease um, and, and speed of addition. I'm just going to again change the icon. Let's just choose a, another, uh, another icon here. So you can see we've got sales vision, how we work. We might just add a couple more to, uh, to our list here. So again, I'm just gonna choose the same page. We'll just give this a title. We'll give and we'll paste in a description. Now this time, what I wanna do is let's look for a calendar. So we'll look for a calendar. Let's choose this calendar icon here and we might just do one more uh, icon and let's point to our lunch and learn sessions. So now what we're doing is just adding, we'll add another library here we might go uh, knife and fork. Let's see if we can find one. No, we can't. Let's maybe go for lunch. No, we can't. So let's maybe just choose training. We still haven't got any training icons. Let's just pick one. Uh, let's go for a smiley face. So we'll hit select. And now we've got a four, uh, four links um, in our Quick Links web part. I'm just gonna publish this page now, and you can see here that that is starting to look nice. All right, so we've got our four, but what we might wanna do also is potentially add a little bit of uh, background. Um, so let's just choose a little background color here, and we can see that now that has been changed and we're just breaking up the, the flow of this page. So now what we've got is that was using the button layout. Now, if I pop this page back into edit mode, now what about if we choose a different layout? So I'm just gonna edit the properties of this web part again, and you'll see that we've got our, um, our properties for this particular layout, the button layout, but let's have a look and see what happens with the compact. So you can see that the compact layout changes um, the visual representation of these links. You can see that we don't have the descriptions, we can show the image in the layout and we've still got our audience targeting. So I can also uh, turn on and off the images here, but we don't have the option for the descriptions. Film strip, again, a little bit different. As we saw, we've got a nice, they're nice big tiles. Because we've only got four, it fits into this particular, um, this particular zone, or sorry, the section in the column. We don't have the scrolling. We've got the grid, similar to the film strip, but this will just stack on top of each other. We've already seen the button. We've got our list here. Again, just the icon and the title. But with the list, we can also choose to show the descriptions and turn the icons on or off as well. Tiles, again, we've got that um, the, the ability here to choose our icon sizes or we can show only the icon or the image if the icons are descriptive enough and visual enough that people are going to understand what that icon represents. If not, we can just keep uh, each 
um, the icon size here. If we want to turn that off, we can change the size of the icons here as well uh, if we wanted to do that. So we've got different options based on the layout that you choose. Now, what does work really well is if we wanna provide a little bit more descriptive uh, information to your users, is the button and show descriptions. And we've got quite a bit of um, other uh, visual things that we can do inside of here. Now, we can have more than one instance of these quick links. So you can give this a title. So what we might do here is go for, um, frequently uh, accessed resources. But what we might also wanna do is have another, uh, another dashboard here or another grouping of links. So what we can do is simply copy or duplicate this web part and now we've got another instance where we could, if we wanted to, have different links. So maybe this is our applications. So we've now got this. Now what we might also do is just from a visual rep re representation here, maybe just break this up into a, another section. Now we might want the, this instance of the quick links to be our grid, all right? So now we've got, and if I republish this, we've now got two instances of the quick links web part, one that is in the button format with descriptions and another one here that is in our tile format. Let's just pop this back into edit mode again. What about if they're in different sections? So what we've got here is a one column section. What if we edit the section and let's pop this into two columns. Now I'm just gonna duplicate this. I'm just gonna drag this across into the right hand section or the right, the right hand column there and republish. So again, what we've got here is a two column. We've got two, we've now got three instances of the Quick Links web part on the page, but we've broken it out and you can see that especially the buttons here work really, really well in depending on, on and they scale correctly depending on the types of, of sections and columns that we do have. What about our, our grid format? Let's maybe change this section. We might do two columns as well and let's just duplicate this. We'll drag this one across and you can see here that now Again, two columns split uh, with our tiles and you can see how that's now starting to become a really uh, useful page. When people land on this page, you're now able to create a really nice user experience by using the Quick Links web part in this manner. Now let's have a look um, and a little bit of a bonus here, how we can use images, especially in these tile formats here or the grid format to really make these quick links uh, enhanced a little bit more over and above just these icons. All right, so let's now pop this page back into edit mode here. Now let's have a look at our applications on the right hand side. So I'm just gonna edit this web part and again, I'm just going to edit this uh, particular um, link here and I'm gonna choose custom image. Now what we're gonna do with custom image is I'm going to upload a new custom image for us, all right? So let me just pick uh, an image here. So let me just grab a uh, grab an image and we'll go and pop that in there. And then we'll do the same thing with each of these links. So we've got four here. Now we'll change, uh, change this to a custom image as well. So I'll flick this over to custom image. We'll change, we'll upload, and then we'll choose this icon here. Now you'll see that these images are in a particular format. So if we look at the dimensions of these images and to make them look uh, work well in this particular um, format of 
the quick links. We want to try and use a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So that would be, say, 1920 by 1080 in pixel format. And if you use those dimensions, then you'll get this really nice looking, uh, or they'll display really well inside of the quick links um, grid web part. So let's just pop the last one in here. I won't worry about changing the titles uh, at the moment, but you can see there using our custom images, we can now also create a really nice visual uh, user experience on the page as well. So now we've got a combination of buttons with little icons, we've got grid with an icon, and we've also got our uh, custom images in our Quick Links web part. So very versatile web part, the Quick Links web part, we can use multiple instances on a page, and you can see there both icons custom images can be represented there to create a really nice user experience. So I hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.